assault me in this place? And how foolish. In here, I am like unto a god. Who is able to make war against me? Power you can't begin to fathom. I salute your sacrifice. of a lesser life. You know nothing. Never did. I will not give up on you. Recall the words that once inspired your faith that the only truth in this fallen world is the bond of one heart to another. Why did you abandon me?
I not safe from you? Even in my own mind. I am trying to release you all from the lie. Don't you see? No one is watching over us. There is no God. We are alone. Each of us. In the end. And so... It came to pass. The heart of the Tempest. Captain Isabella herself. Defeated. Abandoned by the power for which she traded everything. The Soul Wardens were victorious, pulling Aeternum and the world back from the precipice of doom. But at what cost? So many of their numbers corrupted or lost. Their fragile alliance crumbling as the factions fight for dominance. And what of the allies they believe they've gained in the angry Earth? It will be clear soon enough that the vengeful hand of nature would grasp far more than equilibrium. And the void exposed when the surge in corruption abates would become a threat of itself. As the soulless remnants of this conflict rise from the battlefield to find purpose and power in a source as yet unrealized. Yes, the hapless inhabitants of Eternum will soon learn that this chapter may have come to a close, but the real horrors have just begun.